Ladies and gentlemen, eyes up. All bets are off now. This is Caldenin. How many four-letter code word combinations can be formed using the letters in the word pencil? Now, this item has been done a lot of time in our previous videos. We tried solving um, a similar problem to this using fundamental counting principle and using a permutation. But that problem before did not use the term combination. It only talks about a number of ways or arrangements that we could do or come up with the number of four lettered code words that depends on their arrangement that's why we use permutation that time here it's very obvious of the term combinations being placed here hence we are going to proceed to another method of uh, counting or uh, basic uh, fundamental principles for counting which is the combination the combination here is different from permutation in a sense that this combination here doesn't um, what you call this one doesn't dwell too much on the arrangement if we have your safe example a b and c those are the three letters and you're arranging them for permutation the arrangement of a b c uh, or let's just use the example here say for example your uh, first four letter word arrangement is p e n c okay that's it if you're using that under permutation and simply interchange p and e let's say e p n and c those two are counted differently so we have two permutations already just by simply interchanging p and e however if we talk about combination regardless of the arrangement whether you will start with e p n c or n c p e or n e p c they are just the same as p e n and c they are just counted as one that's what combination is that's how different combination from permutation is in this time we are going to use a certain process or the formula for combination in this manner n c r almost similar to the formula of permutation because we have here the same amount of n that means the number of letters in the word pencil we have six and r we are going to take four of those letters at a certain time However, here, as mentioned, combinations when uh, of the same letters are counted as one. So, if we talk about permutation and combination, a smaller number of combination will there be than permutations. So, you might, you might want to uh, compare this on our previous video talking about permutation. The formula of combination is almost similar to your permutation. It follows n factorial here, but your denominator will have this n minus r factorial this is for your permutation but we are going to place here r permit uh, factorial as well this is the only difference between the formula of combination and permutation we have the presence of r factorial so if you have something like this and we could plot all of this here so you have six factorial that's our n over you will have here six minus four factorial times 4 factorial which will give us 6 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 factorial you would know that your first process is correct when you will be adding this 2 and 4 you will get 6 not the factorials okay you're just simply adding the numerical uh, figures here 2 and 4 so with this we just simply need to use the concept of factorial notation because factorial notation again is the condensed way of writing the product of 1 to n integers so you have n minus 1 n minus 2 here until you reach 1 so your numerator is 6 times 5 times 4 factorial let me end here because I am going to answer this manually without the use of calculators you have here 2 factorial times 4 factorial why did I end with 4 factorial, factorial in our numerator that is for me to cancel your 4 factorial here 
Right, nevertheless, if you would like to extend this to 4 times t times 2 times 1, this is also what will happen to the 4 factorial here. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So that's just as easy as it, it, it is. Now, 2 factorial is just simply 2. Okay? So you could have the result of your numerator here, 6 times 5. You will have here 30 divided by 2. You will get a result of 15 combinations. So there are only 15 combinations that we could come up or 15 four-letter word combinations from the six letters of the pencil. Now, if we are going to go back to our answer on permutation last time, NPR, the result for this is actually equal to 6 factorial over just simply um, 2 factorial, which is this process here, N minus R. And what we had last time is the result when we have 6 factorial, that's 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, right? Divided by 2, you'll get a result of 360. So we have 360 possible permutations because again, a permutation counts even the arrangements are different. But even if there are 360 permutations here, there are only 15 combinations. That's how different combinations and permutations are. A, a lower number of combinations compared to the same uh, condition but for permutation. So this is how we answer the idea for combination using this formula. We will have a lot of examples later as well. And that's for Calderon. Talking about getting the luck of the draw. For all in. Subscribe now.